A very good morning students we are in our practical class lecture and this will be the practical 2 and in, in our previous class we had discussed about the calculation of true dip from two apparent dip values that we had measured in the field and in this class we will try to calculate the true dip from one apparent dip as well as the strike of the formation and for that we will try to do in two methods that is the trigonometric method as well as the geometric method. So we have already seen that if the formation is inclined and the road cut is parallel to the strike of the formation, the formation will appear as a horizontal formation, right? And if you only have a two outcrops, that is one is parallel to the strike and the other is in some other direction, we can calculate the true dip from these two values itself. And for such a thing in trigonometry, we will just follow one formula and that is sigma is equal to tan inverse of tan alpha by cos theta where in this case the alpha is the apparent dip value and theta is the apparent dip direction and sigma is the true dip amount so this is how we have to calculate the true dip from apparent dip as well as the strike of the formation using trigonometric method and the same thing can also be done using geometric method in that we will see it now right to calculate the true dip what we can do is we will take a plane sheet and we will just mark the four principal directions that is the north, east and south and west which are mutually perpendicular to each other. The next step is that we have to draw OA that is the apparent dip direction we have to mark it and we have to draw the strike direction and that line should pass through the O. And in third step what we will do is we will measure the A that is the cot value of the dip amount. And the next step what we have to do is we have to draw BC that should be parallel to the strike and for that we can use two set squares. What we will do is we will just keep the first set square that is parallel to the strike direction and we will keep the second set square as a base and we have to move the first set square parallel to that line. By this way we can draw pa parallel lines right and this is how you will be doing in your math classes you will just follow the same trick here also. So we have to draw the BC and that should be parallel to the stripe and that BC should cut the A. Okay. And the next step is that we have to draw a perpendicular line from O and that is perpendicular to the stripe and that line should cut the BC at D. So for that we are just keep the set square here and as we know the relation between the set square is 90 degree and the relation between the strike and dip is also 90 degree. So you can just keep the set square there and draw a line and that will give you the dip direction. So the cot inverse value of OD will be the true dip amount and the direction will be the true dip direction. So this is how we have to do the calculation of true dip from one apparent dip and the strike value. And for your convenience I will try to do one sum for you in the video itself. So we just follow the sum. And we will try two more sums as homework. So the first sum is that calculate the true dip amount of a sandstone whose one apparent dip value and the strike value has been noticed in the field by using trigonometric method. The value of the apparent dip is say not 25 degree west, 18 degree that is the dip amount and strike is not 45 degree east. So what we will do is as we know the formula that is sigma is equal to tan inverse of tan alpha cos theta. Here alpha is 18 degree and theta is 25 degree that we know from the question itself. And we will just substitute the values in the formula. And what we will get sigma is 19.8 degree. Therefore the true dip amount of that formation is 19.8 degree. And this we have calculated using the trigonometric method. So we will try to do the same thing using geometric method to cross check our answer. So the same question that is they had given the apparent dip as not 25 degree west that is 8 and the dip amount is 18 degree and the strike is say not 45 degree east. So the very first step is that we have to draw OA that is not 25 degree west by using protector from O we have to draw 25 degree. And the strike line is say not 45 degree east. So the strike line will pass in both direction as you know strike having both direction and dip is only in one direction. So we will just continue the strike line in both the segment 
we will just draw a straight line and the next one is that we have to find the length of OA that is the cot value of the dip amount in this case the dip amount is say 18 degree so the cot of 18 degree is 3.1 so we will just measure from O 3.1 centimeter and we will just mark here that is A so this is the second step and the third step is that we have to draw BC and that should be parallel to the strike and that line should cut A so this is your strike line so we have to draw a parallel line for this strike and that line should cut A at this point right and for such a thing we have to use two set squares so the first set square should be parallel to the strike line and we have to keep the second set square as a base for that and we have to move the set square along this and we have to draw a line and this is the method that we are following to do the strike in map so the same way we have to use that here to draw parallel strike lines so after that what we will do is we just draw a perpendicular line to the strike from O and that line will cut BC at the point D so one second we will keep the set square and just draw a line just like that perpendicular to the strike and we will measure the OD and here in this case what happens the OD is 2.8 cm so the cot inverse of 2.8 is 19.7 degree and the direction of OD will be the true dip direction so we have just cross checked the sum using uh, geometric method also and we are getting nearly the same answer there it is 19.8 and here it is 19.7 so this is how we have to calculate the true dip from an apparent dip and the strike direction so in the answer you have to just mention the both the answer and we have to write down the dip direction and if possible we can also write the strike direction which is given already given in the question I hope you understand the answer steps as well and if you still have any doubt you just ask me in the class we will discuss and here are the two sums that we have to try in our practical class the first question is calculate the true dip amount of the limestone whose one apparent dip value and strike value has been noted in the field using geometric method we have to find the value and we have to verify the answer using trigonometric method and the values are say apparent dip is not 49 degree east 35 degree is the dip amount and the strike is say east west and the second question is that calculate the true dip amount of a cell whose one apparent dip value and the strike value has been noted in the field using geometric method we have to calculate the values and we have to cross check the answer using trigonometric method and the values are say apparent dip is not 45 degree west and the dip amount is 30 degree and the strike is north east south west so we we'll meet in the class at 2:30 thank you